Hi, it's Rowena. Thank you for tuning in. My um, planner that I will be showing you today is the Filofax Hallborn in the pocket size. And so I've just zoomed in, just got the camera really close so that you can really see it. Um, this planner is really small, um, smaller than the personal size, and um, I use it as a wallet and an on-the-go planner. So this is a... Um, really well-made planner um just a little backstory at around this time the same time last year i had this planner as my main planner this was before i got the kate spade well sleep planner and um one day it just fell out of my diaper bag outside of the house and i um forgot it outside for two days i didn't know and it was just pouring dumping rain and i brought it in gutted all the contents and um and just dried it out, put a bunch of paper and cloth in between all the pockets and it still holds up really well. Um, there's a little bit of rusting you can see there, but that's just about the extent of the damage. Um, that just shows just a true testament of how well these planners are made. Um, I have several other planners and I just, I absolutely know that those would not have held up as well as this guy. So let's get into it. I chose this Hallborn. Um, because of all of the compartments inside because I really wanted to utilize it as best as I could as a planner and a wallet. So on the front here, you have a pocket in the front and back. The, um, I use the front one for the most recent receipts as I collect them throughout the day when I'm out shopping. And then when I get home, I, um, I record them and then I, I record them in my planner and then I um, file them away in case I need them and then in the back I just have a Costco card for Myers card and then I have my credit debit cards and then my ID the planner contents and then in the back I have a prayer card and then my son and I's uh, our insurance cards are back here and then here I usually keep my friction pen in here I do which is this guy but I do want to get the mini version, I believe I saw that in um, someone else's planner video or online, I'm not sure where, and that would help a lot just because it is pretty stuffed and um, with that pen in there, this is really stressed, so I don't want to ruin anything. So I need to look into that. So in here I just have like, um, what, a fortune um, from a fortune cookie, and then I like to carry a lot of change. I know a lot of people don't, but I do. It's really, I don't know, satisfying when I have all the coins that I need um, when I need them. So, and then the last pocket here is the big one with um, just enough room for some money. And then I have a receipt for um, my husband. He's getting his ring resized. So I need to bring that back when we do pick it up. So here in the planner, I have four sections. I have three tab dividers and then this front one works as a divider. It just, I didn't make a tab for it just because I didn't think I needed it with it being in the front. And I have the um, tabs on the top and bottom of each divider because as you can tell when you close it, there's just really not enough room to have those tabs there. So I like it that way. And so here in the front section, I have notes. I have um, sticky notes on the back of most of the dividers and then he, these are just kind of notes as I'm out and about. I really wanted this planner to be fully functional and have everything I need when I'm out and about without feeling like I need to pack a huge bag full of planner supplies and all my other planners. And so this was before I made my daily inserts which you'll see in a little bit. But this was just a little bit of notes for things that needed to be done that came up while I was out and about. This was right before we went to go look at uh, my mom car before we bought it. Just all of the um, details about it before, um, just in case I needed to refer to them while we were at the dealership. These are questions for the OB because of course um, I take this planner with me for 
appointments and such. These are, um, and then these are notes for, from the OB. And then these are questions for the pediatrician for my son. Now, we started looking at houses, so I wanted, you know, I, I brought this with me. And I had some notes, um, so I wanted to take notes like right after we see we saw the houses, and then I had some afterthoughts and wish lists, and then I have some um, notes from church, and then I have a file effects set up to do list. So this is just kind of oh, okay. Well, I should add this or this and that you know things to just make it better utilized these are just sticky notes from the target section the um c-spot save section and then these are shopping lists so this first tab um for me was really important to have um the shopping list available just because when i'm out and about i mean i have a baby i have i'm pregnant right now so i have really bad pregnant mom brain so I forget things all the time so I really really live by my planners and <clears throat> the Safeway list they don't necessarily change um see this one doesn't even have any boxes filled in just because these are kind of the staples that I usually want to get every time I'm at the store at the um grocery store um whereas all the other things are things that I know that okay you know if I'm in Ikea these are what I'm really I really need to look for just because usually when we do have the time to go to a store I really don't know what I need and so these notes the, um, this the shopping section has helped a lot for me I'm pregnant right now as I mentioned and so I have some best foods bad foods for baby um, we are moving into our new place soon so I just have a list of things we need um, this came from a memo pad from Daiso and I just punched it and they're still a little attached to each other so it's kind of cool it's like a little book and then these are always look out for deal section um, so I coupon as much as I possibly can and these are just kind of the things that hey if you see a coupon in a good deal like stock up as much as possible for those items so this is just a little reminder reference sheet whenever I am looking at coupons and then sometimes I like to go to like Michael's or Joann's just I don't necessarily need anything but if I if I do have like you know me time where I can go and then I have a cute you know the 40 50 percent off coupon um these are kind of the things that I would want to get um just to have more of but not something that I need to like make a trip primarily for those things. So those are just ideas when I go there. And then this is just a wish list for myself. And then here is just um, the number we use when we go to Barnes & Noble for the discount. So I just have that there when they ask for that number. This next section is for the calendar. And I just put a few post-its just to cover it up. I, I Because this planner is so small, the rings aren't necessarily big. I believe these are the, only the 15 millimeters. Um, I don't know if I'm, if that's a correct measurement, but there's also 19 that I believe the Malden comes with. So this is, you know, a lot smaller. So I didn't put, um, a cardstock paper on the back of this before I laminated it. So I just kind of covered it up with this just to make it not look so, um, undecorated. And then I just created the schedule here for farmers markets and this is um i'm from puyallup my husband is from silverdale and we're going to be moving there soon and so i just have the farmers markets on my side and then on his side just depending on you know if i'm visiting family or what have you just um just because there's different farmer market farmers markets on different days so it's definitely something that i want to refer to just because there's so many of them I'm not going to keep them all in my head. I only know really of the one um, that's really close to my house now. So and then these are just a few things that I usually like to get from the farmer's markets. And then this is the monthly. Um, I did take out the previous months. And so I just have it from May until, let's see, until next year even, until 
December of next year. And this is just so that, you know, this is for appointments. This is so that we can plan ahead. Not um, all of my planners, I have enough room to keep things in there for months and months and months ahead. So this is kind of the place that I like to write them in. And so it's just mostly appointments, um, little things like that. If we went and did stuff that day, holidays, things like that. This is for June and then July. And then I just mostly use like, so here you can see, I, those are just, everything's just right now. And then when I kind of decorate it, I guess I, cause I don't do too, too much, just enough to have a little bit of color, but I just like to use more of the sticky notes just because they're really thin. Um, I used to use like cardstock paper, just whatever had a pretty print. But of course, sticky notes are a lot, a lot thinner, so that doesn't add too much bulk to the planner because it is pretty small as is. So due date for my baby, um, so that's what all these weeks mean. That means where I'm at in the, this pregnancy. And so next um, are the dailies. So I made these guys and the um, grid paper I was using beforehand, you can see back here, was too dark. Like you could not write on that necessarily and not be distracted by the boxes. So um, I did remake them to be lighter, but before that I did just cover them up with some sticky notes so I can write in ahead of time or so I can write in how the day went or what have you like you can see it changes like here I just wrote um what I must do um what I ate that day because we went out to eat a lot that day um notes just it just varies day by day these are mostly for when I'm out and about and like say I had an appointment right so um a little note I had to drink my mixture for a um, gestational diabetes test and and then what else we did that day kind of just to track it like my son's nap things like that because um, he does like to nap in the car a lot so it just depends it all varies day to day so that's why um so like here in this day we had to do a visit to Tacoma Mall so I just wrote down everything we needed to do there at what store um here um a little bit of the marriage license notes so it just varies day by day i like to have something up here just to kind of like quickly um explain what the day was about i guess if that applies and then you know wrote, there's the time schedule from eight to eight that i use and so this was traveling yesterday from Memorial Day weekend. And then this is today. And this is just, this is just a, a picture of my son that I laminated and put some post-it notes behind and punched it and kind of tabbed out around his hair so I can grab that from there. And so this is today and this is, like I said, this is the new insert where the grid paper is a lot more toned down so that you can actually write on it and pay attention to what you wrote down versus the boxes. And I will have these listed soon. I just want to make sure I have all the cut marks aligned correctly so it's easier for people to um, cut the inserts out. And so I have a bunch of those. And then this is kind of my expense tracker. Now this looks ridiculously tiny and I hope this isn't too overwhelming but this is you can see there's two months on a page or I'm sorry two weeks on a page and I like to have I don't know if I have one where I didn't write at all okay right here so Monday through Sunday and then I have income expenses and net and then I have a space here for the month and then I just write the dates down along the side and this is really helpful because when I was using this planner initially, I was using inserts that were similar to this, where it was like a week on one page, and I think I had one side for, um, what was it, like checklist notes, things like that. Um, but I was barely filling this out. I was more of just kind of like adding filler things. But with this, 
it's strictly expenses, um, things I pay for, money coming in, money going out. And then I, as you can see here, like income, expenses, net. So it's like whatever I made, whatever I spent money on, and then what I walked away with that week. So that's just a better visual for me. I do like to track my expenses, but for some reason I just, it doesn't say much to me when I just see a, a, a running log of it. I really, I really like seeing it on a calendar formatted type of page. And then this is just a picture of me and my husband and it is another little tab to bookmark. And I just, um, I didn't punch it low enough. So I added a ribbon just so that when it's closed, I can get to that section quickly. So I have a few months um, ready to go in here. And then the next tabbed section is just notes. And so you can see how just really plain the divider is on the back. So I just prettied it up sort of with sticky notes that will just be of use when they need to be used. <laughs> and then um, these are badge holders from Staples. It was $4.99 for a 10-pack. And I have in this section coupons, and then I write down what the coupon's value is, when it expires, and then cross it out when I take it out, and it's expired. These are my son's scribbles. These are punch cards. I just wrote down what what's in here, um, just so I can see it without having to pull it out and go through them. These are um, uh, gift cards, so I have the value of each gift card. And then, um, so I like this better than all the cards were just thrown in here. And like, so when I'd look for something, I would, number one, just not really want to go through it. But when I would need something, I would have to take all the cards out and just kind of flip through them. So this is just a lot easier just to, just to know what I have without having to go through anything. And then this is um, just a pocket, a uh, top loading pocket that came with the file facts. And this is my, this was actually when it got wet too. So everything held up really well still, just crazy. But these are baby pictures of him. This is his birth certificate. Um, so those are important to carry just because I have, I've flown with him a few times. A few times it didn't matter that he didn't have the, um, birth certificate and I usually carried it but for some reason I switched wallets or I have no idea so I didn't have it so lesson learned I always keep it keep it where wherever my ID everything important is so yeah this is my planner like I said earlier I I do want to get this guy replaced with a smaller one just because it is a tight fit in there. Um, like it closes perfectly right now without it, but let's see with it inside. You just gotta really be careful about not overstressing that. I mean, it fits, but I want the mini one instead just to make it a lot easier on my Filofax. So this is the pocket sized um, Filofax Holborn, I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I will be posting more videos. I have been using a bullet journal and also Midori. And so I will be posting those very soon, as soon as I <laughs> can find the time to film them. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.